Note on Menudo by Raymond Carver. Um, maybe the author meant it, maybe it's just a coincidence, but this is the third in a row, third um, narrative, which deals with um, domestic issues, conflict, infidelity, love, things falling apart, in the words of Chinua Achebe, uh, which has a book uh, included on the Guardian Best 100 uh, list, uh, called Things Fall Apart. Um, a good book. So, we have the uh, narrator and hero, he, he, he's, the hero is the, is the one telling us the story, and three women in his life, without including here his mother, who makes an appearance at one point. So he's married to Vicky now, uh, who's upset with him. Uh, and he has an affair with the woman living across the street, Amanda, married to Oliver. We are at the breaking point because Oliver uh, has given uh, his spouse an ultima ultimatum. He said by the end of the week, you have one week to move out. So they all know now about this. Uh, Vicky is also uh, sleeping in the bed, but in a corner somehow because she's also upset. Even if we learn about Vicky, that's, she's, she's tough. She's been through a lot and she's uh, tough. Um, faced with this uh, potential calamity, um, the narrator thinks about the past, about his mother, about his father, how uh, his uh, late father woke up from a coma only to say, hello, son and then die. Uh, his mother is also dead, uh, fell into some bushes uh, as she was coming out, coming back home from shopping. She had buttermilk uh, groceries and her dentures in her purse. Um, they're only sad. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> It's tragicomic at one point, uh, that's also true, but it's it's only tragedy, it's only death and uh, b b breakup and uh, come on, give me a break. That's, that's you know, the, 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 perhaps this is the laughter you hear at the funeral sometimes and it's too sad, too depressing, too goddamn awful, so it, it you... You either collapse or you find a um, a way to to let steam off or something. Um, uh, it is again tragic, comic, funny, but in an absurd, uh, uh, dark way because Molly, the one he, the author, the narrator thinks about. Uh, his former wife, um, they loved each other so much and there's this question of how we change. Molly is someone, someone completely different now. I am different and I'm reminded of Proust who made this point excellently in the book which I personally consider the best uh, ever. A la recherche du temps perdu. And so um, he says we we not we, we sometimes wonder about uh, this woman or something else. How could I love her? Well, it wasn't me. It was somebody else. I'm not that person anymore. And so Molly uh, has a breakdown when she learns about this um, uh, the fact that uh, her, her husband is seeing Vicky and. She's not in love with her anymore, and um, she um, 
<laughs> goes off uh, to uh, fortune tellers and eventually joins uh, a group of people who try to levitate. <laughs> Literally, and uh, then she's losing it all together. She calls, uh, she calls uh, her former husband and uh, talks about uh, knowing his thoughts, which are being to her, and uh, karma and other things. Um, very good sh short story, as is to be expected from Raymond Carver. <laughs>